guys, it is time for another favorites video. It is now the end of the month of February. So this is my February 2016 video. Sadly, I did not get around to filming a January favorites video. I was just so busy filming other stuff for you guys that I did not get around to it. So I have a decent amount of items this month and I'm also doing a little bit of a giveaway featuring two of my favorites from February. Stay tuned till the end to figure out how to enter that giveaway. But now I'm just gonna jump right into my favorites. The first one being <laughs> mac and cheese, favorite of my life. Mm. You're a favorite too, Caduce. I love you. He's right here. He wants some mac and cheese. Come. You don't wanna say hello? It's okay. And moving on to beauty favorites. First favorite I'm gonna be talking about this month is the Color Switch Solo. I got this off of the Makeup Geek website and what this little device does is it cleans your makeup brushes in between different eyeshadows or blushes or whatnot. So here he is. Now I want some mac and cheese. Hello. Hello. I'm filming though. Oh God dang it. Go away. Love you. So what this does is it cleans your makeup brushes in between like different colors, different powder products. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this for you today, but just so you get the idea, you take your brush and you're gonna like swirl it around until all the product is off your brush. So the sponge can be washed with a fragrance-free soap and warm water lay flat to dry. So once this gets really dirty, you can clean it so you don't have to buy another one like over and over again. I'm gonna take a random MAC eyeshadow. This is antiqued if you're somehow in love with the color. I'm gonna get a bunch on here. So as you can see, the brush has a lot of shadow on it. So there you go. I'm gonna put more on here. And then I'm gonna take it into the color switch and you just pretty much move it around, like swirl it around, go back and forth. Fun times. And then the brush is clean. Now I can go on the back of my other hand and as you can see, there is no shadow left on the brush. Pretty amazing because if you don't have a lot of makeup brushes or you have like a favorite brush that you use over and over, this is absolutely perfect when you're gonna do like an eye look with a lot of different colors and it works whether you have like a really light shadow on your brush or the blackest black. So this is amazing. And I wanna say this was about $16 on Makeup Geek's website. You can buy it other places too. I really like this product. I think it's a great idea. Mmm. It's so good. This is another favorite of the month. <laughs> this is my 30 ounce Arctic tumbler. So pretty much, this is a knockoff of the Yeti tumblers. The Yeti tumblers are $39 for the 30 ounce size. This one is $19.99 and it comes with the exact same lid. It's a very similar design, except this one is less fat and it's a little bit taller, so it's easier for hands like my size to grip the cup. Yes, I know my nail polish is chipped. I don't give a shit. It's, it never looks good. I'm not a nail polish girl, I'm a makeup girl. Anyway. This thing is amazing. Like I put ice in it at like seven this morning and there's still ice in it now. And it's still super duper cold. I've watched um, review videos on YouTube where people compare this to the Yeti cup to see if it holds ice as long and it does. So pretty much it's the same cup with a better price tag. And I ordered super fun Nicolas Cage decals to put on my cup. They're just not here yet or else I would show you, but I'm really excited about that because everyone seems to be having Yeti cups and they all look the same. Like five different nurses will have the same damn cup, so no one's gonna be taking my cup. That'll probably be in next month's favorites video. Moving on. The next favorite is actually a foundation that I recently reviewed on my channel for you guys. It is the foundation that I'm wearing on my face today. It is a drugstore foundation. It retails for $9.99 and you can get it on the Milani website, drugstore.com, Walgreens, CVS, wherever they have Milani cosmetics. And this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. I have the shade 03 Light Beige, which is a little bit dark for me, but I'm gonna tell you how I make it a wearable shade for me in just a minute. And I know that the review for this product either just went up on my channel or isn't up yet, but I have been wearing this pretty regularly over the last two weeks and I am in love with it. It is long wearing, it just looks flawless on the skin. I'm digging it, I don't know. How does my skin look, Whitney? 
<laughs> she says it looks good. Whitney's over she here. Went. She's over here eating eating her mac and cheese. Hi. Hi. She's a favorite every day. Ah. I love her. Oh my god. So if you are interested in this foundation, check out my video review. First impression slash demo slash how long does it last on my face video? I don't know. Check that out. Next product is the product that I actually use to make this a little bit too dark for me shade, the perfect shade, and that is the Manic Panic Dream Tone. This is a flawless foundation and color corrector. So yes, it is white as a ghost. But what you do is you mix like a half a pump, a couple drops, a whole pump into the foundation that is too dark for you. And what it does is it lightens it up and you can lighten it up to the point where it is your perfect match. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not wearing any foundation on my neck right now. And typically, no matter what foundation I'm wearing, I have to bring it down to my neck for it to match my face. But with the Manic Panic, I got it to the exact perfect shade for me. So I'm really, loving that and this i got for 10.99 on amazon it was on amazon prime so free two-day shipping winning yes next product that i am loving is the benefits do the hula liquid matte bronzer i did use it to bronze my face today i did go over it with the hula powder bronzer to set it in place and to just warm up my face a little bit more but i really really love the subtle, perfect tan that this gives. It looks really natural, it looks really sun-kissed, and I think it would be good on all skin types. Like, I have an oily combination skin type, but this doesn't get overly dewy or weird on me. My friend Whitney, I used it on her the other day on her dry skin, and she liked it as well, so definitely try this out. I don't think this will work for dark toned skins, but if you are anywhere from fair to medium, this would probably be a pretty good shade for you. I want to say it retails for about $28. If not, I will put it somewhere in this video with the price so you can see and know for sure. But yeah, I'm really loving Benefit's Do The Hula. Next product is another product by Benefit. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this on my channel before, but this is the Benefit Give Me Brow. And this is in the shade Light to Medium. And what it is, it is a kind of tiny, itty bitty little wand, kind of like mascara for your brows. And this is typically the only thing that I put on my brows. This is what I use to do my brows today. It just kind of helps fill in any bald spots and make your brows look a little bit more full. And it's effortless and anyone can use it, which is why I like it. I don't like to take the time of day to pencil my brows on. And I sure as fuck don't wanna take the time of day to use a pomade. That just takes way, way long. So. I really like this. I think it does a really good job and it does plump them up and just make them look good. It just kind of completes your face. The next product that I have to talk about this month is the Makeup Geek Sparkler in the shade Light Year. And this is actually the shade that I used to highlight my face today. I know it is a really extreme highlight. You don't have to use it as a highlight on your cheeks. You can also just use it as an eyeshadow and yes, I know that these are extremely messy because they don't have sifters. So you need to be very careful when working with this if you don't want to make a mess. They are coming out with sifters at a later date, but until they do, these sparklers are at a discounted price of $10 per sparkler on the Makeup Geek website. I have three of them. I love them. And I will go ahead and swatch this for you. And it is just the prettiest shimmery white color with like kind of champagne reflex in it. But I really like this and they have a lot of really good colors. So if you haven't checked those out and you're not OCD so you don't mind a little bit of a glittery mess, check these out and they're only 10 bucks so it's a really good deal. Next product I'm gonna be talking about with you guys today is actually something I also just reviewed on my channel but the video may or may not be up yet. I'm not sure, it just depends on when I get to editing. And that is my Time Iron. I love this thing. It can be used for both curling your hair and straightening your hair. That is what I used to curl my hair today. This look took me about 15 minutes to achieve. And it just has like loose kind of messy curls. You can get tighter curls with this or looser curls with this, and you can also get pin straight hair depending on what angle you use, what side you use. There was a little bit of a learning curve for me when I got this. I got this about a month ago. I've been using it on and off since then, and I just had a style session last week with Genevieve, one of the 
amazing time iron style session ladies and what they do is they FaceTime you and they watch you use the product, watch your technique, and they correct it. They tell you what you're doing wrong. They tell you what you need to do to achieve the look that you want. It's amazing. This time iron is amazing. This retails for $190 if you get a new one or if you get a refurbished one like I did. They're only $160, which I know sounds steep, but a good straightener or curling iron can cost upwards of $100. I know a Chi is about $100, so for $60 to $90 more, depending on if you get a new or refurbished one, you get an amazing curler slash straightener in one, so you only have to bring one hair tool with you, essentially, because most hotels have blow dryers, so it really works out. I love this thing, and it comes with a heat sleeve, so when you're traveling, you can put it right in your suitcase after you use it, so. I'm in love with this thing. It's amazing. Hi to the ladies at Time Iron. By the way, this was not sponsored. I purchased this with my own money and I'm doing this on my own accord. Okay, so the last product that I'm gonna talk about, well actually the last two products are a makeup setting spray and a makeup finishing spray from the brand Skindinavia. This is the same company that works with Urban Decay to make their all nighter setting spray. Those are manufactured by Skindinavia as well, but I like these better. The Urban Decay all nighter setting spray, for some reason I'm oily in no time. I don't know why, I don't know what happens because it's supposed to lock your foundation and all your makeup in place but it doesn't do that for me but for some reason these do i like this formula so much better so i have both of them the primer spray and the finishing spray they're oil free paraben free got two of the largest bottles that they sell these are eight fluid ounces each and the total was 48 dollars. i did have a coupon code but Considering how much an Urban Decay setting spray costs for a smaller bottle, these are really well priced. And if you don't want to take the plunge for a bigger bottle, they also sell these 20 ml bottles. And this is what I'm going to be giving away to you guys today. I'm actually going to be giving a makeup primer spray and a makeup finishing spray so you can try out both of them and see if you like them. This is the original Scandinavia. Um, primer and setting spray formula. They have a oil controlling one and a bridal one. I haven't tried those. I am interested in trying them, but the original works just fine for me and I really like it. I used it to set my face today. And then I'm also going to be giving away Tensive Moisturizing Hydrogel Face Mask. It's one of those face masks that you put on your face and you look like Jason, you know, from Friday the 13th but they work really well. They're super fun to use and I got this one from Meanbox, so it's like a Korean brand. This is for anti-wrinkle, whitening, double functional cosmetics. So when Korean products say whitening, it can be one of two things. It could be, yes, it will lighten your skin or two, it'll just even out your skin tone and that's what this one does. So this one's not gonna like lighten your complexion or mess with your tan or anything, but it will help even your skin tone, hydrate and prevent wrinkles. So if you're interested in entering the giveaway for the um, Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray, Finishing Spray and this mask, all you have to do is go down to the description box below and click on the link to the entry form and that is going to take you to an entry form where you just enter your name, your YouTube username, and also your email. In order to enter you have to be two things. You have to one, be a subscriber to my channel, so if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button below. And two, you need to be a United States resident. I learned my lesson last time for my giveaway. I cannot afford to ship out of country because it is insane. Like. Shipping out of country can cost upwards of $75 to ship a package less than a pound, no joke. So I'm sad to say all of my future giveaways are gonna be for United States residents only. So you will need a valid United States address to enter this giveaway. So if you do win, I will contact you directly via email, the email that you provided on the form, but I will check if you're a subscriber and I will double check when I email you if you live in the United States and you have a US address. So definitely go ahead, fill that form out below, subscribe to my channel. I think I'm gonna be doing these giveaways once a month on my channel, maybe with my monthly favorites videos. So if you are interested in that, definitely keep on watching my videos. So if you don't win this month's little giveaway, I will probably have another one with my favorites video next month. Anyway, I love you guys so much. 
Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, or if you like giveaways, give this video a thumbs up. That way I know you're enjoying my content on my channel. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more videos each week. Comment me down below or on my Facebook and Instagram pages, just Beauty Obsessed RN. And you can follow me on Snapchat, just AMH730. As always, I am going to be putting a post video dub smash after I'm done yapping my trap. So if you're interested in getting a good laugh, stay tuned for that. All right, guys, I will see you soon. Bye. The pen is blue. The pen is blue.